Oh. Hello. One moment, please. This phrase has many valences. And um, first of all, um, in terms of orthography, is it old hyphen fashioned? Or is it old fashioned? Are you hungry for an old fashioned? Are you hungry for some old fashioned mashed potatoes? Um, I. <laughs> I was in class with someone uh, when I was an adult, and he was even older than I am now, who um, had gotten something out of a vending machine. I think it maybe was coffee or cocoa, and it said Old Fashioned, O-L-D-F-A-S-H-I-O-N. And it made him so furious. This is a guy who, who had more jobs than anyone I've ever known. Um, one of them had been newspaper editor. I'm trying not to name his other jobs, but he had so many careers. And I'm not going to even tell you why I was in the same classroom, but let's just say it was not journalism class. He was making a big career shift. And he's also made a ton of money writing. Um, so his kind of picayune, persnickety attention to things like how to form a, you know, a proper... Um, past participle that then gets modified um, into uh, an adjectival phrase, this is helpful. So he, he took my cup and put a hyphen in and wrote ED on the end of old fashioned. Old fashioned ice cream. There's also a drink called an old fashioned, old fashioned, which is a drink that I really didn't know about until I was a grown up. And a friend of mine was drinking something that looked kind of like uh, a whiskey drink crossed with sangria, and it turned out, an old-fashioned, is muddled orange and cherry with whiskey. Um, so, not quite like sangria, um, and maybe not as dangerous to a drink while wearing, um, you know, a white dinner jacket or a white pantsuit or um, a wedding dress. Um, I don't think, though, that most of the persons who would be wearing a white dinner jacket or a wedding dress would choose to drink sangria, so I don't think they need that advice. But if they do, don't drink sangria when you're wearing white. It's not a good idea. Um, and for some people, you probably shouldn't drink an old-fashioned because some people aren't particularly well-suited for alcohol for various reasons. But if you are going to talk about something that's old timey, that's old school, that's um, à l'ancienne, it needs to say old fashioned. The hyphen, we can argue about. The ed at the end will make that fashion be much more à la mode.